much stuff, guys. A long time. No talk, just kidding. I'll uh, catch you this weekend. And I'm about to edit this vlog because it needs uploaded and I need to upload. I'll schedule my video for tomorrow because today is April 20th. But um, anyway. <clears throat> it is currently 10 07. Um, my lip is like really puffy right here for some reason. Anyway, I just got off work. And my husband said he left me dinner on the counter. So we're going to go in and see what he left me. And I'm going to talk to you guys more when I get inside. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the dinner. Just ignore how dirty our counter is. I'm going to clean up after lunch before I live. Barbecue, hot dogs, and pork steak. You guys can't really see this. Um, no, I'm not going to eat all this in one sitting. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys in the snack cabinet? I might save some of those tomorrow for lunch so I don't have to cook. Which I think that's probably why he made so much food. Um, I need to go get some more paper towels. So hold on a second. I grabbed pepper towels, but I ended up just grabbing um, a piece of toilet paper. So anyway, I don't know if this is going to be a continuation of the previous vlog or not. But, as of May, not May, wow, April... Eighteenth, I want to say. I want to say it was eighteenth. I signed up to be a market partner with Monate. Um, if you guys have been with me for a while, I've joined a few different, I guess you can MLM businesses. And I like, don't get me wrong, I like doing work that works with um, Allie. Just, how do I put this? It's nothing against you, Allie, if you're watching this. But just with this, like the group, I guess you can call it, I'm in for Monate. I have gotten so much help in these past three days, whereas other companies and stuff, Allie helped me a lot, but I knew she was busy, um, obviously, and she can't, like, your upline can't do your work for you, and I understand that, but when you're brand new, you know, you really don't know much, and you want to learn. Sometimes you just don't know where to start. So basically, long story short, I have learned so much just these past the three days from my upline, Maddie, if you're watching this. I don't know if you watch my vlog channel. Um, it's just crazy. I'm happy. Like, the past three days, I have felt my absolutely best. Like, I have not felt this good in a long time um hold on i need to text my husband tell him i'm home
Like, I, we have two separate group chats for Monet and, like, if you have any type of question, like, almost everybody jumps in to help you. It's not just, if you ask someone else besides your upline, they get butt hurt. I was thankful Allie didn't get that way, but other companies, I did have that problem. Like, like I said earlier, I understand people have busy lives, okay? I work five days a week, 40 hours a week, in a nursing home, plus trying to do a side, side business, you know, plus trying to spend time with family and my he, husband now. Um... So, if someone couldn't get back right away with me, like my upline say, and if they couldn't get back to me, I'd wait, I'd wait a while, you know, it's not like I've waited only two minutes, oh, they didn't reply, I need to go message them, no. I would wait at least an hour, because I don't want that person, you know, just to, hey, you responded, clearly you don't want me part of your team, or want me to try your product, but... You know, like, I wanted answers so I can help them because I was so new. And if I was to go ask someone else that I knew sold that, like, wasn't a part of the team like I'm specifically on. But if I knew they did sold the same company, I'd go ask them. And th my upline would find out they would get so mad. But I'm fortunate enough that I have this group chat, two of them, and oh look, I just completed a circle. Woohoo! My stankle. But um, I don't. That's probably enough. If you guys are interested in that, go check out my Instagram bio. I have a couple quizzes you can take if you're interested in taking products, or if you're interested in joining. I know. I got a, a application for that too. You guys can fill out if you're interested. Um, sorry guys, <laughs> but um. This is another thing. I have lost five pounds since last month. Now, I know people's gonna think, five pounds? Really, that's not much. Well, it is to me when you've been trying to lose weight for a while now and haven't been able to because, you know, Temptations of the world. Um, like, since we've had all this, like, the C word, I'm not going to mention. Um, with having all this, my work, like, we can't leave for lunch breaks and stuff. We have to bring our own food. And, um, which now I don't eat out as much. I don't eat fast food. I think this just this past month, I've maybe had fast food twice. And this past time I had it, I was so sick from it. Like, it was bad. We're not going to go into that story. That's only for me and my husband to know. <laughs> but, um, I was so sick. It was crazy. So, just from not eating fast food, because I was eating it last <laughs> This is going to be embarrassing to say. At least four times a week. Imagine. That's a little chunk of money out of your pocket. So not only am I losing weight. Oh my gosh. Not only was I losing weight. But I also saved a lot of money. Sorry. I'm thirsty. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's the plus side. So since I'm not eating out as much, and the McDonald's is what made me sick, I'm just going to say that. But, um, 
My next goal is to drink less soda. I'm not gonna lie, I drink a lot of soda. I don't drink as much as I used to, like when me and my husband first got together. Like back then, I would drink at least three, 44 sodas a day, not including canned sodas. <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> Um, and then I eventually slow down and instead of getting 44s, I get 32s, but I would still drink about the same amount. And so after that, and again with all this, the C word, I can't go out on my lunch breaks to get a soda. So that's forcing me to bring stuff from home to drink, like, you know, waters, um, we got canned soda. I do take that. Occasionally, I'll take tea or juices with me. Um, so, I'm not spending money either going to the convenience store. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, to get a soda. So, even then, when I, we was able to, I couldn't even finish a whole 32. It was like maybe once a day I could finish a whole 32. But I got to the point where I maybe drank about... Well, rough guess it, 20 ounces of that. So, all that, and now I just drink canned sodas, which is as bad, I understand, because, you know, soda still. But, like, there's some days I'll only drink maybe two canned sodas, and then there's some days I'll drink four or five, and then there's some days, you know, I'll just have one and I'll be satisfied. Um... I'm not saying I'm going to quit cold turkey because, you know, caffeine, headache. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to like slowly, I'm going to make myself only have one for lunch, take one to work, and if I'm off work, I'll have, okay, okay, we'll go with the days I'm working. I'll have one for lunch, one for my lunch at work, and then one one when I get off work. Maybe. Um, and then if I am off, like it's my off day, I'll just have maybe two for lunch and dinner. Because we don't really eat breakfast. So, I'm going to try that. I do drink a lot more water, though, than I do soda. I will put that out there. Um, I just know I need to drink more water. I mean, soda. Shoot. I need to quit drinking as much soda, is what I'm trying to say. Um, like, if you look in our fridge right now, my freezer, you can see there's three tubs of ice cream. There's vanilla bean, vanilla, and chocolate. I, I've maybe had out of two vanilla once, and the chocolate once. That's it. Um, but I've been eating a lot of chicken. Um, and I recommend this brand. It's the Purdue, 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 Harvest Land, um, all natural boneless, boneless skinless fresh chicken breast. It's 99% fat free. Um, there's no antibiotics and Fed all vegetarian diet, no animal byproducts, free range. Um, this is just what it looks like. It is a little bit on the pricier side because you do get them individually wrapped. So, say if you were to just cook like one chicken breast for just yourself. And you don't want to sit there and cook up a whole bag and then have to waste the other half. So, that's what I like about this company. Like... Okay, this is a huge one. Look, this is just one chicken breast. Just one. Um, depending on the size, I have one or two. Um, like tonight, they were both like maybe this big. So I had two. I don't eat them plain though, but I will show you what I eat them with. This, <laughs> I think I'm just going to put this clip by itself. It's so dang long. Um... I will pair it 
with oh. sorry guys I'm getting all my ingredients okay so when I cooked the chicken or my husband my name not my husband um I don't eat regular salt no more either um we use the well I do the fine Himalayan pink salt um, it just looks like this. You just get it from the Dollar Tree. That's where I got mine. It's from the Supreme brand. So yeah, we use, I use pink salt on them. And then occasionally, sometimes, depending on how much flavor I want on them. Like tonight, all I just had was salt. Um, but sometimes we use the Morton Seasonal Seasoned Salt. It just gives it a little flavor. And then, I don't know about you guys, but I have to have something to dip my chicken in. So my go-to's, tonight I had ranch, so it's just the Always Save Ranch dressing. It's probably not the healthiest. It's 100 calories for two tablespoons. Um, that's what I had tonight though. So ranch or barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce ranges from what we get, it just depends on what's on sale. Um, which this time around it was the Kraft Slow Simmered original barbecue sauce and dip and then sometimes ketchup but that's a rare occasion because I I've gotten to the point where I don't like to smell like ketchup Which, speaking of ketchup I need to put another one in so that's what I use um, I went on this whole health rating page, but I'm not going to lie. At least three times a week we have a pizza. Um, we currently have, this has been one of our favorites here lately. It is the Red Baron Four Cheese. Um, yeah. For one slice, if it's cut in fours, I think that's what it means. I don't know. It's 380 calories. You can just pause it if you want to read it. I don't know. It's not the healthiest. But, uh, yeah. Like, my go to lunches, since my husband can't cook and bring me food no more, um, it's either usually chicken, PBJs, or sandwiches. But mainly it's been PBJs and chicken current. So, yeah. I think that's all. I'm going to stop rambling and go shower. And then come eat this delicious food because it smells so good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys. And yeah, I've been doing good. Like I said, you guys, can, if anybody's interested in what I talked about earlier in this video, go check out my Instagram bio, you know. Go check it out. And here's my Instagram. I've never instead of my Instagram, but here you go. You know, scrolly scroll, like, like, like. Um, this is me. You know, I just got off work. I'm tired. And it's Mother Nature season, so. Like, literally, I got in my car to leave to come home. It wasn't raining. I got halfway home. Eh, a couple drops, you know, here and there. Got a little bit closer. Bigger raindrops got to the stop sign before I turn on the one street that turns onto my street. Um, started hailing a little bit. I'm like, okay. I got home a little bit closer home before I turn on the one road. It stopped raining. Got a little bit closer to home. Started sprinkling as soon as I pulled up and quit. So yeah, that's a little crazy. I'm sorry for sticking my pillow. But, yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.